So, this is Daniel, and this is my tongue. Well, this was my tongue for the past three years. Um, I woke up every day with my tongue like this. I went to many different doctors, and if you look at my tongue, you will see that there is a yellow substance on it. This was given to me by a naturalist who blamed my geographic tongue on my poor eating habits. I was, according to her, eating too much salt, too much grease, blah, blah, blah. And I knew I was not doing any of those things. So anyway, she gave me this liquid, which basically peeled off my tongue. Um, uh, so, yeah, it never worked. So it was very ugly, very ugly, as you can see. So when I speak with people, when I used, when I used to speak with people, I would try not, as much as possible not to expose my tongue because it was very patchy, very ugly. It didn't hurt so much, but um, it you feel it there. It was there. So anyway, after three years with this, I thought, okay, whatever, I'm dying, or something is wrong with me, I don't know what it is. It wasn't until I went online and did some research, um, very hard research, because it, no one really seems to know what happened, what, what was the cause of my geographic tongue. And online, it said that one of the key, one of the reasons for geographic tongue is intest is your intestines are speaking with you. They're telling you something. And one of those things that my intestine could have been telling me is that I cannot eat wheat, gluten. So I went online and did some more research to find the cause. And. I started to go gluten-free for one week, a one-week trial period, just to see what happened, what will happen um, if I avoid gluten for one week. So this required that I remove everything that has gluten on my in my refrigerator and replace them with gluten-free products. As you can see here, I have many fruits, lemons, apples, um, yogurt, gluten-free yogurt, strawberries, salmon, etc. So I removed everything that has gluten and replaced them with gluten-free products and tried to avoid gluten for one whole week. One week without eating gluten. And what was the result? Well, this was the result. After one week, my tongue cleared out. So, my the reason why my tongue was hurting so bad was because I had an intolerance with gluten. Now, the question is, is it a gluten intolerance or is it celiac disease? Well, for that, I would need to go to my doctor. But, because I, have, what I, I avoided gluten for one week, I it would be difficult for the doctors to prove if I have celiac disease or gluten intolerance because my intestines were already being repaired so a biopsy would not um, show anything so for that I had to get back to eating gluten so unfortunately I went back to eating gluten and of course my tongue went back to being geographic again but after a week I went to get the test done a biopsy and it showed that I had celiac disease celiac basically means I cannot eat gluten now you might ask yourself well this is not the only sign that I have celiac disease a geographic tongue is not the only sign well you may be right that's why I'm gonna show you some symptoms that you need to look for some extra symptoms you need to look for just to make sure that you do not have celiac. So what are the symptoms of celiac disease? Uh, first of all, credit for this image goes to glutendude.com. So what are the symptoms, the signs of celiac disease? So um, there are many, many signs. And for me, the biggest signs were or 
behavioral, intestinal, joint and muscles, and also vitamin deficiency. And I will go over them in detail. The first one, the first sign of symptoms of celiac disease symptoms is oral. You will have bad gum, bad breath, sorry, bad breath, gum disease, mouth sores and ulcers, swollen gums, tongue sores, tooth enamel erosion. For me, the ones that I had the most was bad breath, which um, lasted for a while, at least five years. For the past five years, I've had this bad breath symptoms. Um, and tooth enamel erosions. My, you can see the my teeth, the gum line was just eroding. They, they, it was not as a normal healthy person. The next symptom is behavioral. Anxiety, yes. Any small thing would make me anxious. And just so you know, right now, I am totally not anxious about anything. And you will notice, the minute after you, start, you stop eating gluten, one week, a few days later, you will stop avoiding all of these symptoms. It's just magical. So in my case, um, I had anxiety. I was depressed. I had brain fog. This one was the worst because I could not think at all. I could not think I would start saying something and then before I know it, I forgot the rest of what I was saying and I, there was no way I could claim them back. I could find them back. Impossible. So anxiety, brain fog, depression, irritability. Whatever you did to me that was wrong, that I did not agree with, I just got mad and any small thing made me angry irrational anger uh, loneliness isolation loss of interest memory loss mood swings my case night terrors this one was especially um frightening for me because i would be sleeping at night and just wake up and start running running where i don't know running why i have no idea so panic attacks short temper and suicidal for women, miscarriages, heavy or painful periods, infertility, these are the top symptoms um, for that women has that men do not have. So you can you can say extra symptoms that women has that men do not have when it comes to celiac. Also, intestinal uh, damage, acid reflux. Yes, I was on Prilosec OTC for the longest time because of the acids and of course it never worked because I we know my symptoms were not just alone it was because of the, the fact that I kept eating gluten so the Prilosec OTC would work for a few days and then back again with the same acid reflux um, symptoms um, bloating constipation diarrhea diarrhea and constipation are the top signs besides geographic tongue if you have diarrhea constantly I spent three years three years going to the bathroom immediately after eating if I was in a restaurant outside I would avoid eating because I knew I would need to use the bathroom so diarrhea constipation bloating nausea stomach pain these are just one of the major signs of um, celiac. Also, it infects your skin. You would have acne. Um, in my case, my pimples were just all over my face. Until now, you can still see the spots of my acne because I would pop them, pop them, and they would stay in my skin. Brittle nails, bruising, burning scalp. Dandruff. Dandruffs, I would buy many dandruff products just to clear my, my scalps. And even after that, nothing really worked. So eczema, um, skin cancer, skin rashes, pale skin. And because I'm dark skin, uh, I didn't really see any symptoms of pale skin. But I don't know, your case might be different. So you might you would have to look on your own case to see if you have those, those symptoms. And this one the joint pain was one of my 